my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm a mom with muscle. And in today's video, it is all Lululemon hacks. So if you guys are new to my channel, I've worked for the company for the past four years. Throughout that four years of employment, I have learned a lot of different tips and tricks for Lululemon product in particular. So I'm gonna go through that with you guys, share some of my things that I have gathered in my toolbox of, of different tips for you guys. So make sure to stick around. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload videos. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So so the first tip for you guys, if you are unaware of Lululemon's wash and care um, instructions, I will kind of go through that with you guys right now. So they recommend for all Lululemon products to be washed in its own cycle. So meaning I, I have like a laundry basket just for my, not only gym clothes, but for my Lululemon product. And I will wash all of that together. I don't wash it with towels or any other type of material. So. Lululemon has its own wash, and when you dry it, they recommend not using dryer sheets. They prefer you to hang dry for longevity purposes, but if you do throw it into the dryer, to not use dryer sheets. Now, I've come up with a little tip for you guys. I purchased these like little laundry balls, I'll link them down below for you guys, just on Amazon, and I throw that in there, and I will actually put essential oils on the ball and throw it in there with my Lululemon product for drying. Purpose of that for wrinkles and with the uh, essential oils, it makes it smell good. So tip number one for you guys. Tip number two is Lululemon has hidden sizing in most all of their product. Now we've had so many guests come in and be like, I bought this pair of pants years ago, but I just don't know what the size of it is. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a tip, okay? Starting with a pair of leggings. So this is a pair of Wonder Under High Rise. I bought these probably three years ago. Aren't they cool, right? So fun. So on the waistband, there is a pocket that will be on the left-hand side inside the waistband. And if you guys just open that little pocket up, where are you? There it is, my friend. There is a hidden little dot. There is a hidden size within every single pocket of leggings. So there it is. It says the size of it, which is a size four. And also, it tells you the production year of this particular item. So, that is for sizing on a pair of leggings. For a sports bra, this is a free to be serene bra, okay? Bought this a couple years ago. On the inside of this particular bra, on the left side as well, there is your hidden sizing. Again, with the production year and the size, this is a size eight. So that is for a sports bra. Now for other products that are a little bit more tricky, like I said, most of them have hidden sizes. Now this doesn't apply to all of them, but the majority of them have hidden sizes. Now for a tank, Lululemon comes with a huge kind of long rip out tag that has the size on it and it has the material that it's made out of. Well, the majority of us rip that tag out because that's its intended purpose is to be ripped out. So on something like this, this is just a Swiftly tank. They're standard tanks at uh, Lululemon. There's nowhere for that hidden dot to be hidden. But if you guys look closely on the waistband of say a Swiftly, there is lettering. There's verbiage on the waistband on the inside and it actually will state the size of it. So let me see if I can find it. Let's see if you can see this. It's very subtle, but size eight. Again, very subtle, but they do hide their sizing within their product. So this also happens on the metal vet tag, sorry, t-shirt for men as well. It's gonna be on the inside around the band part. So that is for t-shirts. And so for other items, this is a jacket that was a seasonal jacket, which I'm obsessed with. It was a kind of avant-garde uh, design that they did that has lace, see-through. Again, it's kind of just one of those random pieces through Lululemon. If you're looking through, it is going to be in the pocket on the left-hand side as well. So there it is. Size six inside the pocket. So majority of the sizing is going to be on the left-hand side when you guys are looking for something. But this is just another little tip for you guys when you are going through your product and if you can't remember the size, it's hidden somewhere in the, in the product itself, so make sure to be on the lookout for it. So those are just some little 
uh, sizing tips for you guys when you can't remember what size you purchased. Majority is, or most likely, it's hidden somewhere within the product. Tip number three, you guys, is going to be regarding Lululemon's return policy. Now, there is this misconception that Lululemon will return anything and everything given however long you've had it. Now, I do wanna put a kibosh on this because this is not the case whatsoever. Now, what you guys don't know about Lululemon product is that Lululemon products have a manufacturing date within each product so we can actually look at this and go okay this was made in 2017 so if you're trying to come in and state that this didn't wear well but you have had it for no joke five years i'm just letting you guys know you look stupid and to really rethink what you guys are going in there for because it doesn't look good on you now if the product absolutely has a manufacturing defect then that is something that lululemon will take into account but when you guys are coming in with a pair of pants that are five to six, seven, eight, sometimes even a decade old, which I have seen before, you don't look very good. Now, I try to say this in the best way possible. You guys bringing in a 10 year old pair of tights for a return for a new pair of pants is like me going to discount tire after I've put 45,000 miles on my tire and requesting that I get a new pair for free. It doesn't work that way, okay? Lululemon doesn't have a lifetime guarantee or warranty on their product. Do they stand behind their product? Absolutely, because they should, and this product is expensive. But my point of this kind of tip three is that be sure that you guys really take that into account when you're going into the store and requesting for a new pair of pants. If the pant is five years old, it's lived its life. Buy a new pair of pants. It's not Lulu's responsibility because it didn't last you when you're playing rugby or you know whatever so i just wanted to kind of clear the air on that because i've seen so many cases of this and it is seriously a misconception when people go and be like i thought you guys have a lifetime guarantee they don't and i don't know where people have gotten that i don't think anything has a lifetime guarantee because wear and tear like it's just natural for product to wear out so make sure you guys think about walking in lululemon and trying to return it because they can see exactly when you've purchased it and when exactly a pair of pants or a tight or bra has been manufactured. So that's tip number three for you guys. Tip number four, you guys, is a pilling remover. So I have pretty thick thighs and part of that comes with uh, friction, okay? Like most of us, our thighs will rub and they create these little ball-like material on the inside seams of the thighs. Now. This is just natural wear and tear, but I have come up with a solution and it's called a pilling remover. So this is actually like a lint remover that I found on Amazon and I will make sure to link this below, but this was the best, I think like $10 I've ever spent. You can see it has all the lint in there. So you just rub this, you just, you just turn it on and go right over all the little lint balls and it removes it and then it's like brand new again. So instead of throwing it out or just calling it a wash and just dealing with it, this is the, like I said, the best $10 I've ever spent. So I like, like I said, I will make sure to link this down below for you guys to remove any lint or any like pilling that happens within the leggings itself. So tip number four is a lint remover for your leggings. Tip number five is going to be on folding. So as you guys can imagine, working at Lululemon, all you did was fold and uh, fold and fold and fold. You did a lot of folding, okay? I got really good at folding. So I'm gonna show you guys how we fold product at Lululemon. And I will do leggings first and then I'm actually gonna show you guys how I fold my sports bras within my drawer. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand because I don't have a tripod. So let's go for it. Okay, so you guys take your leggings. Okay. I'm gonna fold them in half, like so. Okay, and now this is where I'm gonna try to flip you guys around so you guys can, so you guys can I'm gonna flip you guys around so you can see this. Alrighty. Okay, so you have your pair of tights, okay? They are laid completely flat. You're gonna bring this up about to where the gusset is, okay? Make sure it's nice and flat. And then you're just gonna bring it over. And that is how we fold our leggings in the cubbies. So they lay nice and flat, and you can see that little logo on the side. 
but I will show you guys my closet once we go upstairs on how I have all of my leggings. But that is the traditional way for folding a pair of leggings and I'll do it again here for you guys. So you have your pair of tights folded in half. Again, make sure everything is nice and lined up. Bring it around, bring it to the gusset. And if you guys don't know what the gusset is, it's the crotch, okay? Gusset, crotch, just a nice way of saying it. And then you're just gonna bring this over. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so give me some credit. And there you guys have it. That's how you do a pair of tights fold. Okay, here's your sports bra. And this is how I fold it for my drawer, my dresser. So I will show you guys what that looks like once we go upstairs. But you have your bra, okay? You just fold it in half, like so. Now I bring the straps in, and then I'm just gonna roll it like a little taco. And what part you see in the drawer is this part. So you can see the color and you can see the pattern, which again, I'm gonna show you guys once we get upstairs, but I roll them into little tacos. Okay, here is my sports bra drawer. So again, I worked for the company for a long time, so please keep that in consideration when you guys see all of the product that I have. So that rolling technique that I've kind of come up with on my own allows me to see like all of the patterns and it actually creates like a really clean and easy way for me to decide what product that I'm going to be picking for whatever outfit. And then you guys can also do this with your um, tank tops too. So these are just their cool Razorback tanks, kind of like their standard tank that I have done here as well. So again, just keeping it very, very clean and organized and that way I can see what it is that I have. So that is that. All right, you guys ready to see the shrine of leggings? Okay. Here it is, you guys. So this is my Lululemon collection of leggings. Again, this is four years of accumulating my leggings and I take pride in them and I love them. So I have them obviously color blocked, but then that fold that I show you guys will allow the leggings to fit and sit flat and nice together. So again, this is the fold that we do within the store. This is how they're folded in those little cubbies that you guys see. And it allows for the pant, like I said, to just lay really nicely. So this is my Lululemon collection. And uh, yeah. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys will take some of these tips and tricks and implement them in your life if you guys are a Lulu lover like me. But that is it. Like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in my next video. Peace. So I got pretty fucking good at it. Pardon my French, sorry. What do you guys think of the hair? We didn't even talk about it. I'm red. I was red for like four years and I just was like, I totally miss being red, so I colored it. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's channel. What? Mm -hmm.